Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the another important instruction that is health check. So what is this health check? Health check instruction in a docker file is used to specify a command that runs inside the container to determine the health status of the running application. So for example, so you have a container and you created a new container, you created a new container and running the new container and you want to check that whether the container created or running the application whatever the application is running inside the container is is working fine or not if you want to check the health status of this one means then we use this health check this helps in monitoring the containers health and ensuring it is running as expected so that is that is why we will be using here is a detailed explanation of this one so that syntax of this health check is how it will be is health check health check and you will be having some options which we will try to discuss now and followed by command cmd and you need to provide the command whatever the command you want to have so for example let's say that so this is the syntax for example let's say that you are having an nginx container okay so you are having an nginx container you created the nginx container and now you created the you created the nginx container so now how can we check that whether the application is successfully running in this container so by checking something like localhost okay localhost and if you try to run this one, then you'll be able to see that if you see the web page, then we can able to understand that the container is successfully, the application is running inside the container successfully. So this command while creating the container itself, we can run it using the health check so that we are testing, we are testing whether the application is successfully running when we created the container or not. So it is having two or two things. One is the options and the another one is the command. So here you need to provide this command thing. So options, there are different types of options are available. So several options are there. The first one is the hyphen hyphen interval hyphen duration. Okay. So what is this one is sets the time between the running check. For example, let's say that I will try to give the, the example. So here in hyphen hyphen interval hyphen duration, one minute, 30 seconds means. So it will run the health check every one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. So we have another one that is nothing but timeout duration. So another one timeout is equal to duration sets the maximum time allowed for the health check to run default is 30 seconds if you don't mention it if the command takes longer means it is considered a failure so example is so that means i will try to give you a simple example for this one hyphen hyphen timeout is equal to 10 seconds means the health check must complete within 10 seconds so that is thing and we have an another option that is nothing but hyphen hyphen start period so this is also start period Sets the initial initialization time after the container starts during which the health check can fail without counting towards the maximum retries. So for example, let's say that I will give you an example for this one also so that you can able to understand. So start period is equal one minute means allows for a one minute grace period after the container starts. So after that health check will be running and the another one is retries. So these are all the options you will be providing. So these are all the options. So retries. Specifies the number of consecutive failure failures needed to consider the container unhealthy. Default is three. So it will try to get it three, three times. For example, let's say that I will give you an example for this one also. So here retrace five means the container will be marked as the container will be marked as unhealthy after five consecutive failed health checks. So health check command. So now I am trying to tell you this command, right? So we have learned about these options. You can provide all these options or you can provide any one of the option also. So now next one is the followed by the command. So now we need to provide the command. The CMD part of the health check instruction specifies the command to run inside the container to check its health. The command should return a status code. So this command should return a status code. What type of status code it, it needs to return? So there are two status code that is nothing but. So zero means the container is healthy. And if it is one or greater than means here, the zero means if you get the zero means exit status code as zero means then the container is healthy. And if you are getting one or greater means then you need to understand that the container is unhealthy. So this is all about the brief introduction about the health check. And I will try to show you how we can check this one practically in the, uh, uh, what I want to tell you is, uh, what I want to tell you is uh, that is nothing but uh, in the doc, in the, in the image build, we will try, try to show you. So this is our custom images. So this is our Docker file. Okay. And if you try to see the Docker file, so here you need to mention the health check. So here you can write in a such a way that the health check. Okay. 
so how you will write this health check so you can write however you want you can write it so here you can mention the health check and if you want to mention the options you can mention the options like hyphen hyphen interval okay is equal to 30 seconds something like that you can write and hyphen space hyphen hyphen timeout okay timeout is equal to 10 seconds so like this you can write uh, retrace hyphen hyphen retrace okay is equal to 3 and you can write the command so now cmd and you can use the curl command and hyphen f http localhost so i can check with the localhost so if the localhost doesn't uh, function means then you need to it will return false then you need to return exit one so other than that zero other than the zero you are returning exit so here what is the meaning of this one is so whenever you try to exit the curl so it will return a false so if it returns true means then automatically finish if it returns false means then it will try to exit it one so that's it this is the command so now let's go here and i will try to build this file let's try to build this file where is the build yeah i am building this file so it may take some time to build this file okay so it has been built now if you try to create the container first remove this container and if you try to remove this container okay and i am removing this daemon on so now if i press enter so now you will be able to see the container and here if you want to check the container so docker container ps a now if you try to check it here okay sorry docker container ps a now here you will be able to see the health is starting right so now if you want to check it again means again you need to press it like this so instead of press instead of checking this command all the time you can use the watch docker container ps you can use it like this and it will try to watch for every two seconds for every two seconds it will try to execute this command so now it is trying to check the health it is starting so why it is trying to do so health it is starting it is starting it is still taking time so it will give you the uh, thing whether if it is healthy means it will give you the uh, status as healthy or otherwise if it is unhealthy means it will give you that as unhealthy so it is still taking some time so maybe something like that so let it take some time so now we got a message that, that one is as an unhealthy so what could be the option why we are getting this unhealthy let's try to uh, but if you try to check uh, let's try to answer yeah but if you try to check this one container docker container psfa still the container will be running you there is no need to worry okay so now if you try to check the curl option curl hyphen f http localhost right so this is the localhost now if you try to check fail to connect to localhost post 80 we couldn't connect to the server it is saying so what could be the issue so that is nothing but 172.17.0.2 let's try to check it here yeah this is the index file from the docker image where we are able to see that this is the file so fine it is working fine but if i try to go into the container docker container exec hyphen ti ubuntu hyphen demo and i want to check the bash that's it so now if you try to uh, check the curl option curl hyphen f http localhost okay if you try to check it here so it is telling that curl command not found so because of that reason it is unable to check the uh, container health condition okay let's try to exit it so i think the curl is not there i think so docker container psfa no not this one let's go into the image okay oh sorry we should not build the image so let's go into the docker file let's go into the docker file where is this docker file yeah so here we need to install apart from the nginx we need to also install the curl also okay so let's try to save it and build this image so we are building this image so it may take some time depend, depending on this one so now we need to install the curl also it is installing the curl also then we will remove the container and we will create a container now it will tell you that the container is healthy why because so we haven't installed the curl and we are trying to check it with the curl so now let's try to see so now the image is successfully built now what i will try to do is i will remove this image that means i want to say is uh, i want to first i want to remove this image okay then i will create the container again so now if you try to create the container yeah this is the container now let's try to check the 
container status so there is nothing but watch container where is this container yeah i will try to use this watch command now let's try to check it so now the health is starting so it is taking some time so maybe it will take some time so the it will try to check the health health starting and now if you try to see the now the container container will be healthy way because inside the container if you try to check with the curl curl also will be existing so there is no need to worry maybe i am thinking that it is it will get an yeah now you will be able to see that it is healthy so this is how you can check the container status health check using this uh, health check instruction hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you